Hi everyone. Um, so I've been cutting a fair number of parts with the uh, with the router over the last few weeks. I've posted a couple of those videos. Uh, I have several more uh, saved. They're not uh, turning out quite as well as I'd like. I mean the videos uh, that I'm finding uh, hard to make them compelling. They seem to be very long and uh, boring. So, um, but. It, until I uh, find a way to make those more exciting, I thought I'd show some of the additions that I've made to the router here uh, over the last couple weeks. So, um, first of all, I got the uh, the dust collector here, and it's all plumbed in over to there, where I have my uh, dust collector shoe uh, fully assembled. Uh, all these parts, uh, there's uh, uh, probably a uh, uh, eight to ten different pieces of this whole contraption and they're all cut out of polycarbonate so they're they're clear they may have they may have trouble showing up on the video here um, but the idea here is that the uh, uh, the vacuum hose comes in here uh, it's mounted to this plate which is mounted to the uh, z-axis here it's also got an additional support set of supports uh, uh, braces that come up here and are mounted to this plate to the z-axis so it's it's uh, it's really pretty rigid um, the other part is the skirt that brush there which rides uh, actually it's attached to the uh, um, by these clamps here uh, to the z-axis bearing carriages so the idea here is that I can loosen this knob and a knob on the other side and move the whole thing down to a level uh, to the level of the uh, of the, the piece that's being cut and then the z-axis can move independently um, I, I I think it'll work I I, uh, I have a couple of concerns one is that um, if you see here uh, if I push here the thing flexes a little bit um, and that bothers me only because if this thing, if this thing was moving, say, this way in the Y, and it caught on one of these clamps or something, and it actually pushed it a little bit this way, and at the same time, the Z-axis went down, uh, this piece here might catch on that edge, and then uh, I don't know what would happen. You pull the whole thing apart. These motors are very strong. So um, I think all I need to do, though, is if I just add a little additional support here. Uh, to fill out that gap so that it will never it will never go past uh, that lip and I think that'll fix it up um, it remains to be seen I mean I haven't cut anything since I put this all that since I finished this uh, last night um, so we'll see how easy it is to work with I, I think it's I think it's okay though I mean I, I left myself enough uh, see this this little block here rides along the uh, this uh, this bit of, of, of this gantry support or this uh, this uh, support piece here this strut um, and I left myself enough vertical travel that I should be able to get it all the way up out of the way uh, and then uh, you know change the cutter as needed and then drive it all the way down it'll go all the way down to the to the surface of the table as it is right now um, so uh, so I'm pretty pleased I also added a little handle here so that you can lift it up uh, once you loosen those, you lift it up. Uh, so I'm pretty pleased. Oh, I also uh, I, I submitted to Vanity here and painted the top of the router red. It was blue, so now it matches everything. So I couldn't help myself. I had a can of red paint. That's what happens. The other thing I've done is I've added the cable tracks um, to here on the on the Y and then and then there on the X. Uh, this is the uh, the stuff that that uh, Aaron sells at CNC Router Parts. Um, it's it's pretty nice, and uh, I ordered three pieces of it, and I only needed two, so I have a spare. Um, I don't think I'm gonna try to return it or anything though, because it's just it's kind of just fun to play with, um, just to have as a toy. Uh, see what else? Oh, the uh, the tracks here are uh, uh, this is a runner from uh, uh, what would be a, a steel framed building so I, I found a, a place down in Seattle that that sold that well they 
they usually sell it. And when I told him what I was doing with it, and I told him that I only needed one piece, he, he just gave it to me for free. So that was nice of him. Um, also got my um, little emergency stop switch here. Right now it's just mounted on a, uh, on a, on a cable so I can bring it around with me. I, I can have it here or I can have it over there. Um, things yet to do. I need to surface the top of the table. I think I'll be ordering a, a, a nice surfacing bit later this week. I also, I'd also like to get a, uh, a remote uh, pendant so I can uh, use for zeroing out um, the uh, the machine when I'm starting because it's uh, it's annoying to have to come over here and and look and see how close I am and then walk back over to the station and jog it a little bit and then walk back and look uh, it's hard to see from the station uh, if I'm getting close particularly on Z uh, actually adding a z-axis uh, zero finding uh, uh, tool would be useful as well. So, anyway, uh, it's uh, the really the machine's really uh, nearing its finished state. I uh, um, I'll be actually cutting real parts. Uh, I guess I have been cutting real parts, but I'll cutting real parts for for other people for uh, quote unquote customers. So, uh, anyway, that's all for now.